dress up like a mali no this show is very unpredictable this is not the first time uh, it has surprised me worked out because i had no other uh, you know shoots lined up i think in this show i i have found how patient i can be big boss ott3 has aired its finale and we are with ranveer shori ranveer are uh, living the entire journey of big boss or losing it just two steps away uh, how do you feel about it i was here to enjoy the experience sana um, and i've enjoyed that Uh, well maybe enjoy it not not 100% enjoy it but uh, you know uh, i've experienced it and i have to say it's a very intense experience it's a roller coaster ride mentally physically emotionally um they put you through uh, you know they put you through the motions in a way where uh, reality blurs you know what what the game is what reality is what you are what other people are it all becomes one big mess um but you learn some things about yourself about about uh, people about life and uh, i've tried my best to take only the positive out of it yeah. yeah and you were probably the only person who stood against that sana shouldn't win the show and she has mm-hmm. how are you feeling about that no this show is very unpredictable this is not the first time uh, it has surprised me in that sense there are many eliminations which happened which were unexpected according to me arman um uh, uh and others also even before that so uh, you know whatever big boss uh, how big boss however big boss wants you to play and however people vote is what decides this uh, uh show and one has to respect that and you were just talking about how you did not have a social media presence and this game is about votes uh, ranveer what gave you the confidence to enter a show like that and kind of impress the audience through your personality i wasn't here to impress anyone i was here to experience the reality tv show like i like i was telling uh, others earlier i have often uh, uh, done reality tv shows at different points in my career i did 11 years ago uh, i think i was turning 40 that year i did khatro ke khiladi uh after that i co-hosted uh, jhalak dikhla ja i have done uh, another reality tv show called paisa bhari padega so uh, i have uh, once in a while I, i have done reality tv shows this was long pending actually they've been calling me for 10 years every year every year they call me and uh, this year just worked out because i had no other uh, you know shoots lined up uh, the projects i had done weren't releasing and like i said my son was traveling and it uh, you know being cut off from family seemed possible right now uh, for this month and a half so i took it up for the experience and uh, i am certainly walking away with a great experience and is there something that you rediscovered about yourself through this show i i think through this show i uh, people often find me impatient hmm. uh, i think in this show i i have found how patient i can be and there is a section of the audience who feel that you kind of had a pretentious uh, personality and you did a few things just to maybe gain sympathy that about not having enough clothes uh, or not spending enough time to maybe pack uh, your clothes i remember correctly yes. you were the one who asked me about clothes at the press thing okay let me that time i because it was a question you know so many questions let me explain to you what happened the brief that comes to you from big boss said you can get only one big suitcase and one small suitcase So obviously, I assume that if I'm going to spend a month and a half, I obviously have to carry and clothes and wash them and re-wear them. So I thought the thing is that you're supposed to live like how you live at home. So I brought clothes according to that. But when I got here, when I got into the house, I saw other people getting also a big suitcase and a small suitcase, but 15 containers with that. So I was not privy to all this. So I didn't carry my good clothes. It's not like I don't have good clothes. I have good clothes I did not carry them for that reason but also it's true that I am not fond of clothes yeah. you know like how people like to, like there are, you know there are, I don't want to take names but there are guys in uh, in this season itself who who love dressing up yeah. I am not one of those guys I because I have to anyway dress up for work like I am now uh, or you know um, when I do play characters you know designing the look mm-hmm. for the character so all my love for clothes and um, uh, externals gets uh, expended like that yeah. so i was definitely not trying to dress up like a mali as uh, uh, you know as munawar said when yeah. he came in but uh, the fact is yes that i mean i played by what was written one big suitcase one small suitcase 
the others got away with 15 more containers and i suffered because Absolutely. of that yeah lastly ranveer i wanted to ask you if there's a if there's a friend who asked you that uh, should i go to big boss would you recommend that i will first check if that friend is a heart patient <laughs> if he is healthy and strong definitely but this show is not for the faint hearted thank you so much ranveer for speaking to us